Well, hello my peeps, and welcome to another short vlog. And I am uh, bringing this to you from the doorway of my daughter's room. So you would be familiar with her room because I often stand in front of her mirror when I do my outfit of the day videos, or yes, my outfit of the day videos. And today is Saturday afternoon. It is a bleary, yucky, cold day today. So I can show you. Well, it looks nice and bright and sunny there, but it's, it's not. And earlier today, just out of the blue, we had two flashes of lightning. And then, ba -bam, bang, we had like huge thunderbolts. And, um, and I'll go this way. Huge thunderbolts. And then it just bucketed down. It just, it just dumped. And it dumped for about five minutes. We had hail. We had wind the rain was coming in you know against the windows on an angle but anyway and then it was done like within five minutes it was done my hands feel sort of dry you know when you've been cleaning so much and I don't wear gloves because I'm not precious like that I probably should and I probably shouldn't use the word precious but anyway um I don't wear gloves I just can't be stuffed and I feel like I can't do what I want to do properly while wearing gloves so anyway my hands are parched in a way and um you know by using hand sanitizer and all that sort of thing um the, the fact is that you know the skin feels tight so i'm going to um put some moisturizer on can we just ignore the saturday state of my hair the sad state of my hair on a saturday is it still looking blonde i feel like it's looking orangey but I'm using that purple shampoo maybe I need to buy a better one I don't know anyway that's that and um, what I'm gonna do is just film with you a very very easy brief Saturday afternoon GRWM get ready with me um, just make it quick and that'll probably be my vlog for today so hope you find that interesting I've just been doing house chores and I need to keep doing schoolwork my kids are not going back to school after the school holidays because I think some of you would know now that um, I'm just holding the phone because my arm is tired. Many of you would know now that in Australia we have four terms in the school year. So our school year is from January through to December and um, every nine or ten weeks we have, oh my god I look disgusting, real life, um, every nine or ten weeks that's the end of a term. So one semester is made up by two terms um, and then we have like a two-week period of holidays at the end of that term and then at the end of the year which is uh, which is over Christmas for our summer we have the longer six seven week period of holidays um, anyway so kids are currently on school holidays uh, but because of this COVID business and all the rest of it a lot of schools are not going to open after this, the two-week holiday break which is end of next week um, so they're supposed to, kids are due to go back around right about the 14th or so of April. That most likely won't happen. So my kids, my own kids, school principal sent an email yesterday to say that kids are not to be back on school grounds until our Prime Minister has lifted the restrictions. And who knows when that will be. So kids will be home for quite a long time. I don't know what that means for kids at the school where I work. I don't know what's been decided there yet. But most likely all schools will be conducting those home learning programs, you know. Um, and it's funny to see all those memes on Facebook because all these parents who are now, you know, finally understanding what teachers go through. And finally um, valuing and appreciating and admiring <laughs> what teachers go through. May especially primary school because God bless those teachers. I don't have the patience to do primary school. I'll do secondary, you know, I'll do... I'll teach secondary school but primary oh hell no oh no get me out of there as quick as possible <laughs> anyway um i will do a quick get ready with me now and um yeah take it from there Ciao. okay are we straight okay look at the state of my hair okay now I've actually been out already this morning because it's currently Saturday afternoon. Um, I went to my tutoring this morning, so I just like, you know, 
cleaned my face a little bit, but I'm just going to do it again. I'm using this Dr. Lewin's Private Formula Refining Toner. I need a lot of refinement. It's a spray bottle, and I just spray it on a little wipey thingy, and then I refine. That's it, like that. I say to avoid the eye area with this, so I try to, but anyway. Okay, that's that. My well, skin's pretty clean. Alrighty. I've got all my things here beside me. What I also like to do is while I'm doing my um, face, I just like to work on my hair a little bit, and I'm using this. This is from Aldi. You can't see the label. It's the Protein brand, which is Aldi brand, and it's a um, it's like a coconut oil spray. So it's like those dry oils that you rub on your body. But um, it's for the hair, and it's really light, and it sort of softens the hair. And the bits now in my hair that are blonde, they tend to be drier than the rest of my hair. Anyway, um, so what moisturizer shall I use? I'm not going to be going out today, and today is a dreary, overcast day anyway, and you're supposed to wear S SPF anyway, but um, not going out. So I'm just going to wear a more of a moisturizer, uh, a more hydrating moisturizer. <laughs> And <laughs> that is the Lacura Renew Q10 Q10 Night Cream. So this is just from Aldi. It's really lovely. Mm, it's nice. It's, um, it smells. And this one I put everywhere. And I usually do my neck and my decolletage area. Decolette. I don't know what the, word, what the right word is. But I've got this jumper on, so I'm not going to bother. Okay. That's it. That's my skin. I wish I didn't have so many of these lines. I wish this part of my eyelid was raised. I so need a facelift. What do you reckon? With facelift? Without? With? Without. Anyway. That's that. So I'm going to let that settle in just for a little bit. I probably should have done my hair thing now. Mm. Now, I don't really wear foundation. Sometimes I'll go as far as putting BB cream on. I can't be stuffed today. What's the point? I'm just going to do a real quick sort of... Um, Just a, a natural looking. Face look. <laughs> I'm not going anyway. Um, I'm going to use my hourglass. This is the ambient lighting powder in dim light. So that's that one. And I'm using that with a Revlon powder brush. So, no base, no foundation, nothing like that. Just... <laughs> I'm just being funny. That's that. Then I'm going to go in with some bronzer. And this is that beautiful Clarins one that I showed you in a haul some time ago. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. And I've been using it. So, you can see just a little bit of wear there uh, on the pattern. So, using this brush. This is in the light. What's this one called? This is Bronzing Compact Number no. 02 Sunrise Glow. It is so light that yeah, you really like just to get it started, you could really rub on it, but it's there. So, hmm. and the beauty of this is that um, it's got the bronzer. It's got a bit of blush and it's got a bit of highlight. 
when you sort of like get the all, all of it together you can do it separately it just gives that nice glow so that's what I do so I just do like this in shape three that's it and this is a look that you can do oh, wrong way but this is a look you can do for like those quick quick days where you just want to have something but not too much uh, this is another bronzer and as you can see I've actually sort of like made quite a dint in it this is the L'Oreal one it's called La Terra Glam Bronze La Terra and just using an eyeshadow brush just pick up some color and then just go in the crease like that so you can see it's just it's some color it looks brighter than what it actually is but that's just, it looks like you've made some effort, but not that much. So I find myself doing this a lot lately, to be honest. And then with another fluffy brush, I go in and I just fluff it out. And I just blend it up a little bit like that and out. Then what do I do? Get me some mascara. This is the Maybelline the falsies lash lift it's good mascara i like it it's shaped like the better than sex and the l'oreal lash princess one and so just i've already got some on so i won't put too much on that is a five minute get ready with me that is literally a five minute get ready with me so what I'm going to do now is go do my hair a little bit and I'll come back and I will hopefully look a little bit neater and nicer maybe just like that I'm back so I have just straightened my hair a little bit so now I'll get that oil spray thing again and I only do it for the top layers because underneath is fine. Yeah, just like that. Sometimes my hair looks blonde to me and other times it doesn't. Just depends, doesn't it? Anyway, and I've got a bit of lippy and I'm just using this CoverGirl lipstick. It's a cream lipstick. The colour is 715. And the colour is French Toast. That's it there. And it's just a nice 90s brown. I've had this for a while actually. Now lip liner. What's the point of lip liner? For a day like today. It's just creamy. It's just a little bit brown. So that's it. That's the look. So... Yeah, you can see the bronzer, it's there. Um, just a nice simple brown lip. And you can see that other bronzer that I get on the eyelid is just enough to show some colour. But at the same time, it's not over the top. Probably could have put a bit less, but I like it. I went with a nice sort of nudie brown to pick up with the tone of the eyebrows. Oh, oh my god. I went with a nice sort of nudie brown to pick up the tone of the bronzer on the eyelids. And that's it yeah so that's my little basket of goodies just there because I'm using this bathroom here behind me I don't use the main one anymore like I used to so that's it so there you go guys that's just a, like a that's a nothing get rid of me <laughs> really really basic but anyway that's that so from before to now a little bit of a difference yeah so that's that yeah so I don't have much else to sort of share with you today to be honest I'm not cooking tonight I don't know uh, in fact I don't cook nearly every Saturday night we just tend to get takeaway um, I feel like something soupy and warm because it's dreary outside and quite cool um, I'm just trying to like everyone else just trying to navigate what's going on in the world so yeah I um, those of you who follow me on Instagram you'll know that I've been taking part in Linda's challenge which is to sort of like make an effort and get dressed up every day um, during this quarantine 
period and in some places of the world it's isolation we're just in quarantine um, anyway so today I'm not dressed up but I'll probably just post a pic of the old noggin as my you know effort for the day <laughs> so that's that um, yeah and she's got this challenge happening for seven days it's fun I, I actually really enjoyed it because now instead of just dressing in my usual trekky daggy trekky things um, I make an effort to do something a little bit nicer so anyway I actually put heels on yesterday <laughs> I had to go to pharmacy anyway to pick up a script that I needed so I just put the heels on because I thought why not why not just, just why not so yeah I'm loving my ear game I want another piercing so badly I'm not sure if I should do another ear one should I do a nose one should I do a nose one what do you reckon should I do a nose piercing just like a little sleeper or a little stud what do you think what do you think am I too old for that or I was considering the old belly button there was a point I was going to say it there it'll be covered over anyway all right take care everybody god bless and i'll probably see you tomorrow sunday if not look out for some of my other videos i've made a list of ideas of videos to do so hopefully i'll be able to get them all filmed relatively soon <laughs> okay again take care everybody god bless and i'll see you next time